Rachel Zegler, uh, welcome to our show. Uh, we are uh, big fans of yours here at the show, so thank you so much for coming on. I appreciate thank you this. for having me. I'm so, I can't even. This is crazy. All right, good. Yeah, I'm yes. excited. I, I have things I want to ask about you. Uh, one is your, your name, uh, <laughs> Rachel. Yes. You, you got this, you got your name from someone very famous, and am I right? You when? are correct. I was named after Rachel Green from Friends. Okay, good. All right, this is, that is real? That is real. That is a real fact, and everybody, nobody ever believes me no. because they think that there's no way I'm young enough to be named after friends. <laughs> but, no, you are. But I am, yeah. My mom, they were gonna name me Catherine, but my older sister's Jacqueline, and they thought that might be too confusing for babies to figure out. Yeah, and Catherine, so, Jacqueline, yeah. Yeah, Some and reason. so, uh, yeah, my mom loved the way it sounded on Friends for Jennifer Aniston, and then that was my name. I mean, that's a perfect person to, to be named. I, we love, Je who doesn't yeah. love Jennifer Aniston? Yeah. I mean, or I love, Rachel. I love Jennifer Aniston. You could have been I named after the, the, the hairstyle. I could have been Ross. You could have been Ross. <laughs> <laughs> who knows? You could have been Ross, yeah, yeah all right. Why not, right? Ross Zegler's got a good name to it as yeah, well. Right? Yeah, right? Well, <laughs> if you want to have a brother, oh, yeah. You got, you got. Uh, I want to talk to you about this because I know oh, you're, a big, no. you're a big Swifty. Yes. And you were at the Aris. <laughs> I'm how cool are you? She, I looks, mean, she looks very sad, but that was just because I, I had food poisoning. <laughs> no. I did. You did not. I did, but. You still went to the show. Oh, I would not have, I sold my kidney to be at the really? VR, yeah. You love her that much? I love her so much. Back in the day, Swifty? Yeah, from, from self-titled album, which we're still waiting for the re-record of. <laughs> <laughs> See, I found my people in the audience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But do you, are you one of those people at the concerts that yell out, what, oh, the next song's gonna be this or other? Oh, I knew the set list, I know the callbacks, I, and I was waiting for the secret songs. Secret songs? Yeah, my best friend Brenna had gone in Atlanta before the MetLife show, and I went to MetLife night one, and she said to, thank you, and she said to my older sister Jacqueline, who I took to the show with me, she was like, Jacqueline, if they play Getaway Car or Maroon, she's on Crisis Watch. Not only did she play Getaway Car, she also played Maroon. Maroon. I was having a mental breakdown in the audience at MetLife Stadium. <laughs> I love it, yeah. Yeah, and then Ice Spice came out and I, I kept making the joke. That's right. Exactly. I remember that. Yeah. That was a big deal. I was making a joke all night to the girls behind me. Wherever they are, they can attest to it. I kept making the joke that Ice Spice was gonna come out, not knowing anything about that actually happening, and then it happened. Wow, so you should play the lottery that night. Yeah, I Anything guess you did came true. My Swifty manifestation says reputation TV is coming. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Uh, uh, right now, let's talk about Hunger Games, <laughs> yes. okay? The Ballad of Songbirds is focused. The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. Yes. Uh, by the way, your character, uh, Lucy Gray, uh, sings a lot in the film. Yes, yeah, she does. Uh, which is great, which you did live on set. I did, yeah. yeah you, love, you can do it, you know how to do it. I mean, uh, yeah. was, I was reading somewhere there was like inspirations of Dolly Parton in there. Yeah, yeah, well, it, it's, she's a very, uh, she's a country folksy singer. And so Suzanne Collins, who wrote the book, she used to be a country music DJ. So she had this oh. like, yeah, and it's like, it, she has such a deep knowledge of that whole world, which I really didn't know too much about. And so she, she's a country DJ? I didn't either. That's fascinating. Yeah, and so she's obsessed with Dolly Parton, Patsy Cline, and yeah, then we, yeah. we kind of based her voice off of that. How cool. Yeah. Well, the soundtrack it, it comes out this Friday as well. With yeah. the, you were featured on it. Yeah. Uh, and Olivia Rodrigo yes. is featured on the album. Yeah. That's so everyone's cool. talking about this. Yeah. It's already got over a million streams. Already. It's yeah. just crushing. It's Congratulations. Insane. Thank you. Uh, and uh, you, you accidentally started a rumor, and <laughs> I thought tonight would be the perfect night for you to clear up this it is, rumor. It's time to address it. Oh, yes. my goodness. Yeah, I accidentally started a rumor that Nicki Minaj was on the album for The Hunger Games, The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. That is not true. It's not true. She's not. She's releasing her album on Friday, I believe. But it was one of those things where there's a character named Barb Azure. In, in the in the movie, okay. and the actress who plays Barb Azure has a great sense of humor. Her name is Honor Gillies. She's so fantastic, and posted a video of Nicki Minaj saying "Calling all Barb's" when she got cast, <laughs> and she, her character plays the stand-up bass in the movie. So obviously, I commented, "Slapping that super bass," as you would. Yeah. S now the barbs got me good. They were screenshotting those comments, posting them all over social media, being like, what is mother doing? They are very, very, very dedicated and amazing 
I am a Barb. I love Nikki. Yeah. But it, she's not on the album. But she started playing into it. She posted a TikTok with the Hanging Tree song, <laughs> saying, like, I have something coming out November 17th. Like, she knew what she was doing. <laughs> I had no idea. No idea what she was doing. No, no. <laughs> you were just being you and go. I didn't know. Yeah. I didn't start this and rumor. Yeah, I didn't know she, if she was on the soundtrack. So I was just kind of like, okay. <laughs> no, and she's not. And she's not. Okay, good. I'm <laughs> glad you me. said it. Yeah, no, good. I'm glad <laughs> it's you and Olivia Rodrigo. Yeah, we're happy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Uh, uh, do we set? How do we set up the movie Hunger Games? This is pre Katniss. Set 64 years in the past. Yep. Uh, it's been 10 years since the districts and and the capital have like gone to war. And the it's Hunger a, Games have been going on for 10 years. It's a giant, giant, giant movie. Yeah. And I would suggest go see it in IMAX because it's just a lot. And we did film it for IMAX. It's the craziest experience. Uh, enjoy it. I yeah. want to show everyone a clip. Here's Rachel Zegler in The Hunger Games, The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. Take a look. This world, it's dark. This world. The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes is in theaters and IMAX this Friday. Hi to Fiona. <laughs> Hi to Fiona. Hi to Fiona. Hi to Fiona. We'll be right back with Tariq Trotter, everybody. Stick around. Hey, hey, hey.